What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Android app review. I'm your host, as always, Neil. So for today's review, I wanted to share an easy way to get a simplified gallery app. So for me, I don't mind um, the cl uh, various features that gallery apps provide, but in my day-to-day -day usage, I prefer just to have my images ca um, categorized by folder and then either an ascending or descending date. Um, that's usually a personal preference. I prefer um, ascending, but depends on what formatting works for you. Um, so in case you're wondering how you can use or which um, gallery app might be a good one, for me, um, Simple Gallery is the app that solves that problem. So um, open, upon opening the app, you'll see a layout kind of like this, depending on um, how many pictures you have on your device. So I have a screenshot. I have uh, three images in my Snapseed folder. I have one image in my camera folder. I just did a cleanup, so it's a lot less than it. You, uh, is normally but basically you get folders like this and then um, for example if you use whatsapp a lot and you get a lot of whatsapp images and videos you'll see separate folders for those and then um, so on and so forth depending on how the various apps you use um, separate their pictures I think uh, camera FV, FV5 um, puts images by default in its own folder, so images you take with that camera app will be saved there. So there's that sort of differentiation. So Simple Gallery basically just looks for images on your phone and separates them by the folder that they're in. Um, clicking the three bars at the top on the um, top there will allow you to sort by name, path, size, last modified date, and ascending or descending order. So um, pretty straightforward there. Um, if you have multiple camera apps installed, it will give you the option by touching the camera app of um, asking which one you want to use. You can of course set a default, or if you just have one, it'll uh, launch the default camera app. Um, touching the menu on the top right of your um, Apple will allow you to filter media, so if you want to look at just images, just videos, just GIFs, or GIFs, or all of them, or any combination, you can do that. Um, you can change the view types so if you want a grid view or a list view, you can do that. Um, you can select how you want to view uh, folder contents. So um, if you want to look at it just as um, all folders, um, with or without captions, if you want to search, you can do that. Um, and then you can, of course, uh, um, adjust the um, sorting of that. So if you want to sort by name and in ascending mode, then you can do that. So you have the um, order um, that way as well. And then, of course, you have the open camera menu there. You can change the... Um, um, view type of course um, this way as well so um, there is there are those um, different um, options that you can um, set and then in the settings menu you can um, do things like customize the color of the app so you can do a light dark dark red black and white or set a custom so if you want to set a custom background color you can do that if you want to set the navigation bar to a specific color you can do that so you can drag of course to a, um, any one of these and then drag to various tones there and then same thing with for the app icon color so you can do a number of different options there so it's kind of minimal but um, if you want to customize it there and then if you want to see a change log you can you see that if you want to adjust uh, what folders you see or don't see if you want videos to play automatically and loop videos and things like that you have all sorts of different options that uh, for the most part you don't need to adjust for me I think I left everything for the most part um, as is just because I don't really need I don't with this app I don't really need to worry too much about um, how is it, or what folders and what images and content is looking for I just want to look at the folders themselves I know in my the default gallery app on my one plus 3t it separates things separates images by pictures I've taken on my camera versus images that I've downloaded and screenshots and snaps and all that and it's extra steps that I don't really want to have to take so um, there is that so uh, simple gallery is um, a good app for that and then let's say you've taken pictures and you um, don't see anything in there or you've deleted stuff and there's still residual images you can pull down to refresh and it'll look for um, new content and refresh your image and video directory um, so that's really all there is for that um, if you want other simple apps um, 
they there are a variety of different apps in the um, App Store or the Google Play Store. They're made by Simple Mobile Tools. So they do have a simple camera that only has single mode. So you take pictures or you take videos. You can adjust the resolution of the pictures accordingly. Um, but I think the pictures, I'm not sure about the max um, image size for my phone it goes up to 60 megapixels but it is limited on the video size so there's a little bit of a drawback there but um basically the ui is like you see in the uh, screenshots here it's just um simple buttons to take pictures and videos um and then they have other simple tools like a uh, uh, simple cal calculator, drawing tool, file manager, things like that. So if you have an older device that um, where you don't want to use apps that require a lot of resources, then um, simple media or simple mobile tools is the way to go. Um, then the music player, flashlight, um, if you want to create a um, simple a shortcut via an app launcher, you can do that. Um but overall, definitely worth it. Um, but for me, the gallery is the one app that um, is the most uh, usable just because it has a very straightforward layout. So that's all there is for that. So it is available for free in the Google Play Store. Um, just look up Simple Gallery and it'll be an orange um, icon. And that is all you need to do. And then visit their website to um, check out... Um, various all their other apps and all of that good stuff um they do have a donate tool um which is in google, the google play store so once you just once you buy that app it'll it'll basically be your way of supporting them so if you want to um give a little money back to help support development and uh things like that then um uh, that's all then you just need to buy their simple donate tool and you're good to go and it's actually just called simple thank you if you want to help them out so that's simple gallery available for android via the google play store and i think that's because they're open source um they're also available or i think you can download the apk directly and you can also um, get it via the third party app repository f droid and that's f dash droid so it's all available all over the place so you can get all their various apps in give them a shot in the relative size of um or the size of the app is actually also very small so you don't need to um, worry about it taking up too much space um i don't see the size here but i thought it was, but it's a relatively small app so you don't have to worry about it taking up too much space um but that's simple gallery so if you have any questions you can find me on um um Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com. You can, of course, find this review and all reviews on the website or on um, YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And if you want to um, help support the show, get it growing, get content early, then be sure to visit the Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.